These are devotions for people at a social distance. This morning I was reading in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 14, and the first couple of verses made me stop and think. At that time, Herod, the ruler, heard reports about Jesus, and he said to his servants, This is John the Baptist. He has been raised from the dead, and for this reason these powers are at work in him. Now, this very idea, you know, that Herod could have thought, well, this the most reasonable explanation for what I'm hearing about people being excited and all around Jesus is, oh, it must be this guy that I killed a couple of months ago. That's ridiculous. I mean, you know, that this is the most reasonable explanation his brain can come up with uh, for what's happening in the world is ridiculous. And, uh, you know, and of course, it's strongly implied in the Gospel of Matthew that this is because he's feeling guilty for having killed John the Baptist. And fair enough, true enough, people do uh, sometimes react in these strange ways to feelings of guilt. But I also suspect there's more to it than that. I think that because we find ourselves today in a time when we do hear people um believing really kind of ridiculous, uh, far-fetched things. You know, you look at the, the QAnon um, conspiracy theories, various conspiracy theories that float all over the place around uh, uh, the pandemic. And, you know, I, I don't need to list these things. You probably, if you spend any time on social media, you probably heard some of these conspiracy theories going around and and some of them are just so ridiculous almost as ridiculous as as thinking that the most reasonable explanation for jesus is that somebody has come back from the dead uh, that you killed these kinds of ideas are floating around and the amazing thing seems to be uh, that people some people believe them and continue to spread them around so um why is king herod believing this ridiculous conspiracy theory that he's come up with to explain this movement around Jesus. I don't think it's just about guilt. Sure, it's about guilt, but it's also about Herod not being able to deal with reality. The reality being that his rule and the way he's doing things is so unpopular uh, that people are getting worked up about it and following people who are contrary to Herod. Um, it was a whole lot easier for Herod to think, oh, this John the Baptist things is just one guy. Uh, it's nothing. But now he's having to deal with this idea that that uh, people just don't like him and what he's doing. And he his brain can't deal with that. It makes me think a lot about uh, why people are spreading around conspiracy theories today. Um, it's because they struggle with reality. Uh, they struggle with the fact uh, that the things that are going on just don't fit their worldview. And so they will latch on to the most ridiculous explanation for what's going on. You know, the, the, the reason why people are protesting uh, for Black Lives Matter, for example, is that some wealthy Jewish millionaire, uh, billionaire is paying them to do so. I mean, that's a ridiculous theory when you look at it, but people believe that because that's so much easier than dealing with the reality. So just thinking about King Herod this morning makes me want to rededicate myself uh, to dealing with truths in this world, even though it's difficult, and not uh, just retreating and, and uh, hiding behind ridiculous ideas that often come in the form of conspiracy theories. Let's pray. Lord God, in a time when people are latching on to the most ridiculous ideas, to escape dealing with reality and with truth. Let us be a people who are dedicated to what is true and, uh, and what is right, who are not willing to grapple with truths, even if they are uncomfortable. Let us be strong in you for such times. Amen.